Night had fallen by the time the youngest candidate made his appearance. Quadio Conan Bertin, nicknamed Kakabe, met with a few hundred young people. He thinks that at 52 years old, he has a good chance of capturing the youth vote in a population where two thirds of the people are younger than 25. Et le chemin le plus sûr, c'est de vous mobiliser tous les jeunes de Côte d'Ivoire derrière ma candidature pour que nous puissions chasser à la salle Ouattara le 31. He casts himself as an alternative to the three men that have governed since the 90s, all of whom are over 75. On va pas nous manipuler des éléments comme ça. Qu'est-ce qu'on nous propose? Qu'est-ce qu'on nous donne? La guerre des échos. Bédié, Bago, Ouattara, Bédié, Bago, Ouattara. Et quand on va se lever, les pro Bago, les pro Bédié, les pro Ouattara. This sentiment hits the nail on the head for some. Il faudrait qu'on ait un président, un président jeune. Tu pourras, tu pourras aider la jeunesse. Only Ouattara and Kakabe are actually campaigning. The other two candidates are boycotting the electoral process. His detractors accuse him of being manipulated by the president, receiving payments to make the race seem credible. They say without ever bringing the proof. It's a shame. That's what characterizes them. The dog can be The caravan of Kakabe advances. Having split from the PDCI, many in his former party consider him a traitor. He now risks splitting their vote. When he ran for president in 2015, less than 4% cast their ballot for Kakabe. He will clearly be looking to do better this time around.